Your my niggas doing the same thing. I told him to ride, cause he's doing it. I gotta run some shit up to the lane chain. If you ain't up before, you gon' know now that it's up in this stuff on my name. My name Armani Jones, man, A-R-M-A-N, exclamation point, Jones. Man, I come from, I grew up kind of jumping back and forth between like Orlando, Florida, and Memphis, Tennessee, but I done been all over the world, for real. But the South, I'm a dirty South, baby. But yeah, man, I sing uh, R&B, I rap, I, pretty, I can do it all, for real. You put me in that booth, you give me a nice beat, I'll I, I give you something, five. What about the project? Where like uh, where the concept for this whole project come from? Yeah, honestly, man, it, it's it's kind of a mixture of things. Just a lot of like the, the love is real, big anthems. It, it comes from just my life, like things that I done dealt with in my life, things that I'm I'm honestly still dealing with. Cause you know, as a, as a man, especially as a black man, it's kind of it's continuous grind, like. It's a continuous grind. We we fail, we triumph. It's a mixture of all them kind of things. So like that song you was just playing, mistakes. It's kind of like a culmination of all of that. Like a culmination of really like the last like two years of my life, kind of trying to figure out everything. Cause I me, mean, I'm only 26. I just turned 26. But in my 26 years, man, I done been through probably 40 years worth of things. So it, that that song is kind of like the the culmination of that. Just like the me explaining my story. In, in a in a small in, in like two minutes two and a half minutes but it's it is playing everything for the most part. Okay. Well, that's that's gonna be a big one, bro. Uh, yeah, that is a big one. That's gonna be a big one, bro. That's going to. I knew it. I'm that's gonna turn people head when they hear somebody you know, riding and listen to it. They gonna be like, what the fuck was he listening to? That shit sound dope. That's that shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We just gotta find the look for that song. We yeah. gotta find what that image looked like. Just like Trap Motivation, Energy Guy got his Trap Motivation shit. Uh, you know what I mean? That's his look for the whole campaign. We gotta find a look for mistakes. Not love is real, not pure exclamation. We gotta find a look for mistakes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if, if you gotta be between two chicks doing like this on the flyer, like one pulling you and one pulling you that way, you trying to follow your girl, but you got one pulling you back like this. Yeah. How'd you meet the boy Skip, man? Man, I met Skip when I was in the Army, when I was in Hawaii, man, like 20, I'm gonna say 2019. Me and Skip had a common partner. Uh, uh, we met through my boy Hakeem, man. As soon as I met him, it was like, oh, this gonna be my dog right here. And it's just been like that since then. Like, we don't even got a, I mean, we don't got a manager artist relationship. We got a, a brother relationship. We just both happen to really fuck with the music shit. So we just, I'm like, man, if I'm gonna have somebody be on be on my corner, I'm gonna have to, it's gonna have to be big, bro. What's up, which boy Armani motherfucking John, you know that? What it do, man? Nigga, what it do? What's happening with your dog? What's going on? Jane, man. Armani. Yes, sir. I'd like to meet you. Congratulations on the music. Man. Congratulations on the music. I already know it coming. Hey, come on in the back, man. I gotta see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we gotta see. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we uh, uh, break, uh, All right, we gonna get on some motivation, man. My little cousin, it's my artist. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. He's a producer, man. Goddamn, making beats and shit. He needs some, he needs some education on how to do it better. He a producer, bro. He make beats and do goddamn music, bro. He produced some of them goddamn beats you heard. Yeah, he did music too. You know what I'm saying? Seven months ago, I was up at eight o'clock. When it comes to like keeping the schedule, I'm a, I'm the type of person I write something down. I probably make like 40 alarms, <laughs> you know what I mean? Make sure I'm, I'm going where I'm going or getting where I'm supposed to be on time. And then I understand stuff, you know, every, you gonna, you can plan everything for months and then you get to the day that you're supposed to do something and it, it may not go the way you want it to go, but it's all about just, you know what I'm saying? Keep pushing through it because you can't you can't let the, let you know what I'm saying, little hiccups and mishaps fuck up your whole vibe for your day. I got a word, it's called wiggle. You gotta wiggle, you gotta wiggle, bro. You know, make make it work no matter what. Be flexible. But you can depend on Skip. Skip gonna be there on time. It's cool. Going out there for oh, I didn't know if he going. Or it's cool. We busting the mood. In. He was supposed to go out there for his uncle's birthday with it, but his uncle's sister died. So I don't know what he gonna do. So how little about sitting down and being sad about it? I know, so but he that. might go down though. I would need, I kind of need him. Like, talk to him. I would rather him get out. He, he can FaceTime do the same thing he do down in Alabama. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Been here. Ain't gonna solve it, man. 
and I kind of need you, bro. But if you can't make it, then let me know. All right. See, I'm going to pull up on y'all. Hey, I'm going to be Me and my wife get in the hotel today, man. We're just chilling on that. She don't, she don't get out of work. We're going to the hotel. I'm going to just got down here in that little nigga with the boy Skip. They're gonna shoot some videos, shoot the motherfucking vlog. Holla at these folks. Just in case y'all ain't know, love is motherfucking real. Love it real. That motherfucker is still on the way. And pure exclamation. Love. Both of them on the way. <laughs> about fucking memphis bro how was it growing up there bro. man like the memphis sound man what icons did you look up to that look up memphis, to when you was out there man you feel me? memphis is one of them spots where it's like <laughs> it's like if you want to be somebody and you coming out of memphis you gotta run you gotta have some attitude you gotta have some swag you gotta yeah. have one you gotta have some respect for the folks that came up before you because that's how you get your your name i am who i am and the people who i grew up with the people from my side of town i'm from south memphis third wall like the people from my side of town ain't nobody ever gonna say or oh, our money wasn't keeping it real or nothing like that it's, it's it's just when you come from memphis you just got to be yourself but you also got to have that swag my influence is for real like coming up in memphis honestly it was it was really three six now play a fly mj them. I, I, I fuck with, it's a dude, he, he locked up right now, his name Finesse Two Times, I fuck with Finesse Two Times, yeah, okay. of course, got it, back, you know what I'm saying, got it, of course, Dolph, you know what I mean, so it, it's, it's, then it's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of rappers that come out of Memphis, like, that you will never hear about. Downtown motherfucking Atlanta. I'm out here with my boy. I'm trying to make some move, man. Finna shoot this video today. Goddamn, I just got y'all, gotta get y'all to understand. Love is motherfucking real. Pure information, all that shit on the way, man. So don't goddamn sleep on me and don't goddamn wait until this shit blow up to be talking about y'all fucking with me. You know what I mean? Cause we leaving motherfucker behind. Ain't no bandwagon folks gonna be around our motherfucking click. None of our movement, none of that shit. Love is real. Pure information, y'all tap in with me. You know what I mean? What up, though? Where we at? What's on the agenda? Uh, we had to hit the goddamn head to Walters. That shit that way. I'm looking this way. <laughs> like I ain't been here before. This old underground. Check it out, bro. This what underground Atlanta used to be. Spent a lot of time down here when I was in middle school. Skipping school and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Going down there to play arcades, get some Chinese food and shit. I like what they doing, bro. I really like it. You know, gentrification is the thing, bro. But you get, get get in where you fit in, bro. Don't let them take it from you. Buy the block up. Y'all heard till y'all heard y'all heard Killer Mike. Yeah. Old Atlanta, bro. Nobody spends time down there. It's Saturday, bro, and nobody's downtown. Ain't that shit crazy? It's downtown Atlanta. Everybody at goddamn Edgewood or Northside, Buckhead, Lenny's, Midtown, Landing Station. I guarantee you, Landing Station popping right now, bro. So, uh, but I like the change they bring into Atlanta, man. I kind of wish all my homies wasn't moving out of town, but uh. You know, it's 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 Atlanta. It's crowded, bro. That, bro. Shoot. I mean, rapping and singing. You grew up in Memphis. You feel me? You uh, you in Florida? You have been doing music. Atlanta, yeah. right here. You feel me? Atlanta has been like the epicenter for black culture and music for a minute. Shoot. How was it? How you feel? How did you feel when you was you know on your way up here and when you knocked out the work? Like, how did all that make you feel? Like coming to this type of city and accomplishing. The shit that you was accomplishing out here, man. It just, honestly, it made it worthwhile, like, doing this music thing. Because, like, you know, they say most of, most of the artists you be in, you do it, like, 10 years. And that's when you kind of figure out, all right, if this going to work for me or if this something I'm going to keep pursuing. That, like, even just that drive to Atlanta, the whole time I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm, this this why I'm doing this. Then I got to Atlanta. We put in that work. We, we worked for about 16 hours. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying, in the way it came out. 
kind of like the day went smooth, really weren't no hiccups for real. And I'm like, yeah, this this it, man. And then plus, Atlanta, I kept saying it the whole time we was in the car. I'm like, man, Atlanta just like the career up, like. It's just yeah. real for me because, I mean, I used to go there when I was a kid, but it's different when you kind of go there and really touch them streets for real. And, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for some work, like, all right, this like the career for real. I felt like I felt at home. I'm like, man, I started telling my girl, like, hey, we need to come up here more often for real because yeah. it's wow, a lot of heaven. Uh, yeah. Money. Jay. Hold up. Where was all you niggas at when I ain't have a pot to piss in? When all I wanted y'all to do was listen. When every dream I had was for the crew. When I was trying to make them non-fiction. Before I had this meager disposition. Niggas don't understand the weight I had to carry on my back. Trying to make it out with my only blessings was beats and rap. Trying to hold this shit together cause I knew that if I snap, was no coming back. So I had to let some time lapse. Got off the end. I'm trying to get my people out them gutters where they living at. I'm into that. I can't be infatuated with Insta Snap or this and that. I come from a place where niggas grab this and that. Then kick a dope, put folks on the floor and ask where it's hidden at. Just need some time to put a plan together with singing, mixing a decent rhyme. Creating vibes is how I'm gonna say lies. So your lack of reciprocation is gonna be your demise. I don't need friends, homie. I just need family, dog. You got to flip I got some I got some OGs, some some black and white Nike Cortez, man. Walter it was like a uh, it's like one of them, it's like a hood spot to me, but then it's like it's not a hood spot. It's like downtown Atlanta. It's like a hood spot. It's like the spot I can go to, like in South Memphis, or if I go somewhere like in East Memphis, somewhere in hood spot, they got the fly kicks in there. I, I just I just fuck with that shit, but like that's what I said. Atlanta was really just like the crib, man. It was like I was thinking it was gonna be a different vibe and I got there. I'm like, man, it's just like the imp. I promise it was the bosses were straight though. I like that how you go in there, you get your dicky fits, you get your yeah. Head. You know everything you really need out of them for real. And they had they had the designers, the designer swag in there too. Like you go there one stop shop for real. And I done told y'all before that I'm too player to understand, nigga. I'm too player to ever forget the shit that made me a man, nigga.